hello guys welcome to opal art so here we are to teach you everything about art so let's start a beautiful journey of art uh, on this platform we will provide you every single technique using art whether this is in uh, dry media or wet media or in comic book rendering art or any other art techniques so we will discuss here everything so stay tuned with us so let's start a journey here so this is our purpose uh, to teach uh, all the aspects about uh, art okay um, so we want every artist from the all the world to learn about art so here i'm going to discuss about a very very basic point regarding art um, so I, we will start from uh, zero to next level okay so this is our first video for we will start from the very basics of art okay let's start um, I have seen in my career teaching career that uh, the, uh, the most uh, uh, asking question in the demanding question in art is that which paper uh, which pencil eraser or which tool we use in art or uh, which tool we should use at the very beginning of our art journey so let's talk about the tools if you are a beginner and you want to learn about art you just need a pencil any pencil not a very branded pencil any kind of pencil any ordinary pencil so i will use a student pencil <laughs> this is a student uh, pencil actually this uh, my student gifted me in school so this is a student uh, grade pencil not a very high demanded pencil this is a very uh, student grade pencil so you can say that this is ordinary pencil student pencil okay the second thing we need an eraser any kind of eraser this is a student eraser very ordinary eraser okay this is very local brand eraser there are so many kind of erasers this is a needed eraser tombow eraser and pencil eraser and you do not need these erasers yet at the point just simple eraser and simple graphite pencil this is a graphite pencil not a charcoal pencil there are lots of type of pencil are there graphite pencil and charcoal pencil this is a graphite pencil uh, this is maybe darker than hb hb grade you can see here okay these are about tool we are not talking about any fancy tool here normal pencil normal razor and paper paper if you are going to start your art journey you need any sketchbook with a little texture you can see some texture here little teeth here little grains here this is cartridge paper little rough we need some rough surface this you can see here you can see the roughness you can see some teeth here so we need some textures on paper or you do not have this you can buy any any drawing uh, book drawing sketchbook okay take a textured and this is cartridge cartridge paper cartridge sketchbook okay uh, next next the uh, big mistake is our attitude towards art what do you think uh, in our stu student life uh, we think that this is our only habit this is only our hobby to draw to draw things or uh, even then we uh, grow adult we start drawing i think this is our only hobby so do not say that do not think that this is only our hobby no do not think that okay think we are going to learn it professionally okay we will work hard in this field we do everything okay so this should be our mentality and uh, the second thing we think that uh, we should draw perfect everything perfect no 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 this is the biggest biggest mistake we ever made okay do not try to draw the perfect just try to uh, draw the flow just try to draw the perfection uh, in the shapes not the result okay we will uh, talk everything about in the next video i'm just uh, discussing a very basic um, aspects of drawing today hard work and smart work <laughs> so do not uh, be confused 
we need both hard work and smart work hard work means we need to work daily we need to work uh, uh, a little long in long duration okay one an hour two hour three hour and um, how much time you find okay smart work smart work uh, is in which direction we are going to work in which direction we are going to take steps uh, how we practice this is called uh, we call uh, smart work how we practice okay so these are the uh, steps uh, some points we will discuss later i'm just covering all in a very fast mode okay we need to think big do not take it as a hobby or as a habit okay think we will do it professional okay on a pencil how to hold the pencil how to hold the pencil okay the most commonly most of all commonly we hold our pencil or pen like this like this this is all general or common uh, grip hold like this but if you are going to learn art you do not need to grip your pencil like this okay use this our hand grip and lose your wrist do not make it stiff very stiff okay loosen your grip and look in a rhythm in a spherical rhythm look this okay and i use most of time most of time i use this grip our hand grip like this you can draw any random lines in a very rhythmic fashion like this like this this motion give us a very uh, beautiful rhythm like this like this i am using my wrist and as well as my shoulder as the uh, size of paper or canvas increases we use our shoulder this is a uh, motion motion i am using my wrist and as well as my uh, shoulder so these are the topic we will discuss about uh, later in our uh, next future videos so these are two uh, grips like this and overhand grip okay tripod this is tripod grip and in this grip uh, we use for uh, detailing like this if you are going to work on a very uh, little part like this we will uh, work with with this grip okay so we cannot do like this here so here we need to uh, use our this tripod grip like this like this you can i use this grip for detailing detail work i use this grip okay you can shade like this i use this grip for shading large area so this is a shading method we discussed about, uh, about this later so this i use for uh, detail detail work and uh, <clears throat> next is how to practice okay let's talk about how to practice first of all we need to practice very smartly like this i had drawn some uh, spheres some circles i'm going to stick them okay draw uh, any shapes of circle okay and uh, make them their outline with a uh, dark marker okay then hold your pencil like this overhand grip okay and uh, choose any circle keep moving your pencil on the circle keep moving keep moving in spherical in spherical mode keep moving keep moving do not apply too much pressure on the pencil okay do not apply too much pressure keep moving keep moving try to trace the sphere try to trace these outlines okay try to trace like this keep moving keep moving then all all if you do this practice at regular basis daily and very soon you will be able to draw a circle free hand like this like this but first of all you need to practice on the outlines like here do this practice daily and uh, 10 15 20 
how long you can practice and uh, keep in mind do not stiff your wrist okay and do not stiff your uh, fingers keep loose keep loose your fingers everything like this my fingers are like this totally loose everything and let your uh, wrist hand move all around the sphere like this like this okay touch the paper and keep moving and after some days you feel some freedom in your hand with this practice this is smart work hard work hard work that how long you can work smart work the how you are working this is smart work and also hard work how long you can work is hard work and how you are working is smart work so we need to combine both all okay in this video we will end here so these are the very basic stuff we are going to take towards the art so what do you need to do you need to do is draw these spheres on your sketchbook on a paper if you do not have a sketchbook take any paper draw these as spheres on your paper circles and keep practicing and you can send us uh, your assignments your homework this is your homework these are your assignment and you can send us via um, any link you have find in the description box our mail uh, instagram link you can follow here and uh, send your assignment there you will get the link uh, inside the de uh, description box i will check the work and give you suggestion how to improve your work and uh, whatever your question is query is we will work on it uh, we will make a video on it and uh, keep sending us uh, your assignment your work whatever you draw send to me i will see it check it and give you um, suggestion whatever i see in your how to improve your art and um, yeah i would like you to uh, subscribe to our channel yeah this you need to subscribe to our channel follow us on instagram upper platform follow us on instagram and um, we will see we will see that how much uh, students we are getting or uh, artists we are getting in touch then we will make a group then then we will think that how to uh, teach you uh, by videos or any other help so please uh, subscribe to our channel so i will be back with the next video next video will be uh, about shading shading practice not shading in an object how to practice in shading because this is our purpose to teach you perfect art not we are going to uh, give you any time lapse video no no this is not about uh, that promotion we are here to teach you pure art okay the art is regular work this is a subject not a uh, subject of hobby or habit so we will provide you every uh, all the uh, lessons so keep waiting i'll be back with the uh, next lesson subscribe to us and follow us and uh, must send your homework your practice work your assignment to me i will check so thank you guys i'll be back thank you thank you very much